All right, this is part seven. So we finished up the Kaufman side quest. And now we have to um, head over to the lake. Yeah, that's right. We were heading over to the lake. Try and find our, our daughter, Cheryl. Uh, all right. We have to head over to the lighthouse and see if we can avoid uh, getting entangled with these stupid ass monkey men and doggos. Uh, I know that there is an item along the south part of this wall somewhere. I didn't pass it, did I? Mm, don't think I did. This is probably it. Yep. Alright, let's continue on. I would say we're probably about two-thirds of the way through this game. There's not that much left. What's this? Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think something bad is going to happen. I would tend to agree. Still got to go, though, Harry. You got to tough it out. If I was in Harry's shoes and <laughs> this shit was happening to me, I don't know what the hell I would do, but just continuing on... As though it's like a mild inconvenience. Like, ah, oh, man, it sucks that this is becoming a nightmare. Well, I guess I gotta keep going. Nah, son, this shit <laughs> would be horrifying in real life. But the protagonists, protagonists, ah, uh, shit. Ah, dang it. Protagonists, come on, uh, in these Silent Hill games, they are very, very brave. Alright, let's go. Oop. Didn't want to just pass by this gentleman. Okay, next cutscene. Sybil! Harry! How did you get back here? I followed the sewer. Were you the one who cut the fence? I'm glad you made it. Ooh, that audio cut out. You. you were worried? Where did you disappear to? Never mind. I want to know what's going on here. What is with this town? This may sound really off the wall, but listen to me. You've got to believe me. I haven't gone crazy, I'm not fooling around. At first, I thought I was losing my mind. But now I know I'm not. It's not me, this whole town. It's being invaded by the other one. But he does give it a name. Someone's nightmarish delusions come to life. Little by little, the invasion is spreading, trying to swallow up everything in darkness. I think I'm finally beginning to understand what that lady was talking about. Harry, hold on a minute. I don't get it. Look, I don't understand. 
understand it all myself. I guess I can't explain it. Well, what's making this happen? I don't know that either. But I do know Cheryl is there. There? Under whoever created this darkness. Cheryl is somewhere and she needs my help. This whole thing's been a major blow to you. Yeah, the audio in this emulation isn't so rest. great sometimes. It just so randomly cuts out. I... The demon is awakening, spreading those wings. Dahlia Gillespie. There you are. Was it not as I said? I see it all now. Yes, everything. Hungry for sacrifice, the demon will swallow up the land. I knew this day would come. And what's more, the task is almost finished. There's only two left. To seal this town to the abyss, the mark of Samael. When it is completed, all is lost. Even in daytime, darkness will cover the sun. The dead will walk and martyrs will burn in the fires of hell. Everyone will die. So what am I supposed to do? I've got to save Cheryl. I've got to save Cheryl. It is simple. Stop the demon. The demon, the demon taking that child's form. Stop it before your daughter becomes a sacrifice. Before it is too late. Stop it! Stop it! My god, she's nuts. <laughs> what do I do? Go to the lighthouse on the lake. And to the center of the amusement park. Alright. Make haste. You are the only hope. Look, Harry. I really don't get what's going on. But if there's a chance we can save your daughter, I'm in. I'll check out the amusement park. You go to the lighthouse. Sybil, thanks. Thank. <laughs> Alrighty. You will need to use it. Use what? Only with that can you stop it. What about Sybil? You're very much on your own, Harold. How are we doing on uh, ammunition? Oh, well, I should actually reload. Uh, almost max. We're going to actually come back to this area, so I will... Uh, leave that alone for now. Uh, okay, I think we came in from that door, so we have to go here. And this is the, like, final area before you would get the UFO ending. Uh, and once you get to the top of the lighthouse... If you satisfy all the conditions. Oh my, well, it finally happened. He tackled me. What a asshole. Oh my god, he got me again. What the fucking shit? Wow, dude, I'm getting hit from every single direction right now. Jesus. This, this area is annoying because... You're in like these tight spaces, and there's really no way to avoid the enemies. You just gotta hope that you can avoid them. But there's, there's really no way to do it. Come on. You gotta just do it, Miro. Just gotta do it, bro. I think this is where the lighthouse is. Yes, it is. 
Go in, thanks. Man, these people next door are really hitting that karaoke. Wow, I'm still actually with uh, green health. That's that's good. Man, they're belting it out next door. Fucking audio. <laughs> Damn, I was too late. All right, that's all we can do here. Now we gotta go to the amusement park. So yeah, on the top of that lighthouse right there, I would have gotten the UFO ending if I was going for it. Basically what you have to do for it is, in the beginning of the game, um, you have to go into the convenience store and there's like this crystal, I forget what it's called. And you just have to use it in I think like five different spots. Come on. And uh, when you use it in the final area, which is the lighthouse rooftop, then you get the UFO ending. Cool, I didn't have to actually Civil walk all the way back. back. That creep's sure to show up at the amusement park pretty soon. Let me be on time. <laughs> sure. Uh, still green health. That's fantastic. I like how he calls Alessa a creep. <laughs> Which I guess she kind of seems like it. She's just been kind of stalking us and hasn't said not a single word to us. And has just been phasing in and out of reality. Right, yeah, we gotta go this way. Shit is starting to pop off right now. We need to get to the amusement park. Oh god. No, oh, that was close. Ah, dang it, Bobby. Dang it, Bobby. That boy ain't right. Well, Sybil, looks like you uh, got into a bit of, of a predicament there. Oh, and here's this weird symbol again. And we're back in the damn sewers. This one is a little bit easier and more straightforward. Still sucks nonetheless, but... Let's just do it so we can get the fuck out of here. No! Oh, just push past him. Alright. And we went the fucking wrong way. Ah, shit. I went the wrong way twice. Where do I go? Uh, I think I must have passed it. Yep, I totally did, like a jabroni. Fuck. Damn. All right, here we are. Okay. Uh, do 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 do. I think there's stuff straight ahead and to the left, maybe. Definitely could use a health drink because I've been getting hit all over the dang place. Yeah, here's another health drink. Let's see how we're doing on health, by the way. All right, we're in orange. We have 38 health drinks. We are very much stocked up. 
Yeah, if you pick up everything in this game, you're pretty overpowered, too. I mean, just health drinks alone, I am... Oh, and these... Oh, oh my god, I didn't think that was gonna happen. Shit. Alright, so the enemy that just grabbed onto me, that's the enemy that replaces the mole men that appear in the school and... In the Shit! <sighs> and in the very beginning of the game. I probably... I'm probably not looking so hot right now. Wow. Yeah, that was bad. That was not good. Yeah, they replace... those enemies. I think that's it. I think that's that's it for the sewers. I can't believe I got hit so many times just now. I was so dumb. Alright. And now we're in the amusement park. Uh, there's no map for this area, so we just gotta fumble around until we figure it out. We're on the complete wrong way. Here we are. You ain't getting me. Okay. Come on. Come on, where do I go? Where's the, where's the, where's the end area? I just want to finish this. Uh, shit, dude, that's so confusing. Okay, so I, I'm pretty sure that this notepad right here is the same one that uh, Heather finds in Silent Hill 3. Because you return to this amusement park in Silent Hill 3. There's no way that that's the right way. Alright. This is so frustrating. Nope. Okay. Jeez, man, where the hell is it? <sighs> oh my god, I think I made like a total U-turn, son of a bitch. I know it has to be close to here because this is where the save point is. <clears throat> this is where I just fucking went. Oh, come on. Where the fuck do I go? Oh, I think I found it. Yep, found it. Thank God. Jeez. What a pain in the ass. Not looking so good, Sybil. the Roscoe. Okay, alright. Uh, 
So this is the fight that you have to do if you don't get the bottle and that red liquid in the hospital in the beginning of the game. And Sybil is tough as hell. She takes like... Gotta be at least 20, 30 shots. And she shoots at you and she can kill you very quickly. Sybil. But Wake up. Snap out of it. The canon ending is that Sybil. you have to fight her and kill her. Harry. What happened? Shh. Don't talk. I'll take care of you. I got your back. Harry. Why did they take your daughter? Why her? I'm not sure myself. But, you know, Cheryl isn't my biological daughter. I actually haven't told her yet. She probably already knows anyway, though. We found her abandoned on the side of the highway. Nobody knew where she came from. We didn't have any kids of her own. My wife was sick. And it didn't look like she was getting any better. So we took Cheryl in. So in that case... There might be some connection between Cheryl and this town. So what do you do now? Cheryl is my daughter. I will save her no matter what. <laughs> so stilted. right there. I don't know who you are or what you're trying to do, and I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Just one thing. Let Cheryl go. That's all I ask. What? Cheryl. Give me back my daughter. We meet at last, Alessa. <laughs> Donnie Gillespie? Where's Cheryl? Where is she? Alessa. This is the end of your little game. Mama? Could she be? You've been a ghastly little pest, haven't you, Alessa? I was careless. Thinking you couldn't escape from our spell. But Mommy didn't know how much you'd grown. That's why I couldn't catch you all by myself. But what a pity, yes? Now you're half indebted to this man for his help. Hey, what are you talking about? Alessa, my dear little girl, there is one thing left I need you to do for me. Me. 
bad girl. going on here? <laughs> what the fuck was that? That little last scream. Oh! Alright, so we just got like a massive plot dump. And we still have another cutscene. Ooh. Lisa, you're twitching there, girl. Lisa, what happened? Where's Alessa and Dahlia? Harry, listen. Something you said before has been bothering me. I just can't get it out of my head. What is it, Lisa? So I went to look in the basement. Even though I was scared as hell. Like you said, there were these creepy rooms, but nothing really unusual down there. But while I was down there, I got this weird feeling, like I'd been there before, like something happened there, but I can't quite remember somehow. What was it? Harry, help me. I'm so scared. I can't take this. It's only a temporary thing. You're in shock from when you were knocked out. Don't fret about it. You'll remember after a while. No. You don't understand. Wait! Where do you think you're going? That sound. So we just got a huge plot dump. And let's save before we progress any further. Uh, so first things first. We had to save Sybil from whatever the hell it was that was infecting her. And then he tells Sybil that... Uh, Cheryl is not actually his biological daughter. Found her on the side of the road. No idea what the origin is. Oh, unique camera angles. And another cutscene. I'm being summoned. What happened in this town? What could be making things like this? I have a feeling if I take the elevator down, I'll find it. Cheryl. <laughs> Cheryl. Uh, the other thing that we learned is that Alessa is Dahlia's daughter. And they are not exactly aligned. They're fighting each other. And also, Dahlia's fucking barefoot. She's been walking around here this entire time with no shoes on. Her feet must be cooked. Because this place is gross. Also, this place is the final area called Nowhere. And it is basically the hospital. And each room, each doorway. And I should actually equip the hammer. Because I'll be fighting those nurses and doctors again. <laughs> Hey, girl. Alright, Fay leg. That's that door. 
Uh, yeah, each room connects to, or each door connects to, like, a room of significance in the game. It's not just the same layout. See, like, this brought us to the antique shop. And there's also no map, so you just have to remember where things are. And speaking of, we are at about 30 minutes, so I'll save here and we'll continue on in the next part and it's been real and it's been nice in other words it's been real nice